Welcome to Mysterious Morsels. It's been a big month for all things spooky, and it seems to fit our theme very well. So I thought, what better thing to do than talk about one of my books? I had written two books, and uh, one of them is up on Amazon, and I thought, you know, let me tell a story about that. Seven Dreams is the name of the book, and I really, really uh, had a fun time writing it because it was seven actual events that occurred that I dreamt about, and then those dreams became a reality. Now, I don't claim to be any kind of soothsayer or person that can see the future, but it was weird, and they happened at all different stages of my life, starting when I was 12 and going straight through into adulthood. So I didn't really expect any of these things to actually happen, and then when they did, it actually started to terrify me, and I couldn't really figure out why. Um, Of course, you tell people after the fact, you know, they think you're crazy beforehand, they think you're worse. So... It was uh, an interesting adventure, and it is what it is. I can't uh, change it. I can't predict them. I can't make those type of dreams happen, but I know once I've dreamt it that they're that kind of dream, if that makes any sense. So the first one that um, in the book, there's uh, seven uh, uh, sub-stories, if you will, many stories, and the first one is called Cafeteria, and I was going to tell you that one today. I have taught for years, and I was young and new at this uh, great school, and I had a great boss who was... A fantastic guy who was kind of a cowboy and was like, yeah, you know, do it and beg forgiveness later kind of a person. And I'm that way. So it worked out great. And we were working together all year and it was spring, getting ready for the end of the school year. Everybody's excited for summer. And there was a lot of construction that was being started because they were going to annex the building. So over time, construction workers just kept popping up everywhere and they were building a huge addition to the cafeteria. Our cafeteria at the time only held about 200 kids, and we were expanding to be a school that could hold up to 600 kids. Now we're a school that holds about 1,500, just to put it in perspective. But back then, it was kind of an old farm town school that kept buying up property and expanding, and the middle school was bursting at the seams, and the original cafeteria was all glass on one side, very large glass panels, probably 50 feet in the air all the way down with little standard snack bar kind of tables next to them. At one point, late in May, they started putting steel girders up outside and there were the kids could see everybody working and there were little bits and pieces of uh, construction stuff nearby, but it was not much of a gap, maybe 20 feet before they actually started a whole other section to expand the gym and it was going to bleed into the cafeteria. So the kids got a kick out of waving to the workers and watching them every day. And this would go on for weeks. Towards the very end, almost Memorial Day uh, era of May, I woke up on a Friday morning, and it was a day that we had a lot going on at school, pep rally, different stuff, and I love to sleep late, so it really kills me to wake up early as it is. I have no idea how I became a teacher, but I woke up very early, like 4, 4.30 in the morning, because I'm one of those people that runs in right by the bell, and I had had this crazy dream, and it, it woke me up, and it made me totally nervous, and it was that a steel girder came crashing through the big glass panels during lunch and actually hurt several students and killed one of them. It, I was crazy. I was sweating. My heart was beating fast. I was losing it. I woke up. I thought it happened. It took me a good two minutes just to get back to reality and realize that I was awake in the dark and it was a dream. But I'm really nervous about it because it felt extremely weird to me like it happened, like it would. And I really never felt that way before. I dream every night. Everyone does, but most people deny that. But I remember my dreams, and they're usually pretty vivid. It's just the way I am. Some people have them, some people don't. Some people remember them, some people don't. But I'm one of those people, and I could feel it was different. And I rolled over and did the unthinkable and called my boss at 4.30 in the morning, who was nice enough to answer. And a sleepy guy said, what's the matter? Thinking I was hurt. And I said, listen, I know you're going to think I'm crazy. I'm sorry to wake you up. I had this terrible dream. I can't sleep. It's making me really, really crazy. I'm worried that this is going to happen. I dreamt that the cafeteria is in total disarray and gets smashed this afternoon. Glass shards are falling down like a guillotine, hurting kids, and all the windows and the window seats get smashed and, and, and kids get hurt. I even saw like just blood everywhere. I don't know. It woke me up. Like I really don't think we should let the kids sit by the glass anymore. They're getting closer and closer. I barely finished my sentences. He cuts me off, tells me I'm crazy. He's like, you woke me up for that. He was pretty angry. I said, listen, I wouldn't tell you this if I didn't think it was real. 
He's like, it's not real. You're dreaming. Shut up. Go back to bed. I'll see you later. Click. So I'm like, Ugh, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? I'm young, you know, and he's not the kind of guy that would have fired me, but he definitely was thinking I was nuts as a result of that because it's not something that he would have ever even entertained. And I really wouldn't have thought so either. So we go into school. I never get back to bed. I try to sleep. It doesn't work. And I'm just nervous. And I told like three colleagues at the time what I thought. One of them was like, okay. The other one was pretty attentive and thought, well, you can't do much more than what you did. Tell the principal, right? So like it's out of your hands. But I didn't feel assuaged of guilt for that. I just thought I mentioned it to somebody who now thinks I'm crazy. And the third person, they were like, well, if you're really upset about it, press the issue. It happened in the afternoon at the last lunch in my dream. So all day I taught and then I had lunch duty and the principal was notoriously down there with me. So it got all the way to that day. I tried to see him. He had meetings and things. I never really got to see him. As I walk into the cafeteria and the whole day, I'm a ball of nerves. He sees me and he's laughing and he's like, oh, thanks for waking me up this morning. So he was like over it personally, which was nice. So I could relax about my job, but I wasn't relaxed about the situation. And I said, look, I know you think I'm crazy. Is it really going to hurt anybody to move these kids? Look, you got all sorts of guys out there with hard hats. There's a huge construction scene. He's like, the cafe is full as it is. We don't even have seats. What are we going to do? We don't even have tables to bring in. I said, kids are flexible. Just put them two, two and three uh, you know, at a table at the other tables or squish them in. I was like, they're small. It would happen to be the sixth grade lunch. And they were the youngest kids we had in the middle school. He's like, we can't do that. You're, you, you, come on. So it's about a 35, 30 minute lunch. And 20 minutes into it, I keep watching that window, watching that window, standing by it. And I'm looking and looking and everything's okay, but I'm not okay. And he's laughing at me. And the kids are like, okay, like you've been standing here all day. Like you didn't move around like usual. You all right? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Nice day out. And it was. You, it looked like the clouds were painted into the sky. It was one of those beautiful blue sky days. And uh, it almost didn't look real. So finally, it's time to go. The bell rings. Lunch ends. Kids are throwing out their trash, getting out of the seats. And they're all little uh, booths, like little four and five and six seat booths, all lined up near the glass. And luckily, nothing happened. So my boss walks over to me and He's like, see, I told you, nothing's going to happen. It's fine. Lunch is over. The kids are walking out now. And there's probably 100 kids leaving the cafeteria. So we're behind them, obviously, to wait for them to leave. One kid forgot his lunchbox and went back over to go pick it up near one of those booths. He picks it up, gets about halfway across the cafeteria. And I just turned back to the booth to make sure that he didn't forget anything else. And when I turn back around, now everything empty, thank God. I see this man up way high, like probably 50, 60 feet in the air on a steel girder fall. And he falls, his hat falls off, his hard hat is just rolling away. Another man tried to grab for him, but he missed him. And another man tried to grab his tool belt, but missed him. And he fell onto the next, probably 20 foot jump down, like the drop onto the next platform of girders. But as a result of the two men trying to grab for the man that fell, who actually got seriously hurt and turned out to be somebody in critical condition for a long time and could never work again, sidebar, while those two men went to grab for him, they let go of what they were doing and one had been holding the rope for the steel girder backup safety. And the guy way up top on the 100-foot-ish post um, went to swing it to its next space at the other 100 foot point and it teetered down and caught momentum like a pendulum and went whoom and walked right through our glass like smashed right through the glass at the top point of the like 50 60 point foot because we had a whole side of glass and it cracked every pane smashed they all fell down like little guillotines just like i saw and the girder went flying straight across the floor into the cafeteria and hit the wall on the other side, the cinder block. And it took out the first two tables, smashed them. And in my dream, unfortunately, there were kids at the table. Thank God they had left. But the kids had just exited the door and heard the noise and were actually running back in. Glass was everywhere. And the table cracked in half. Sadly, in my dream, it was a kid's head that went rolling. 
and other kids were just slaughtered instantly from the glass shards. Luckily, that didn't happen, but that's what I had seen. And my boss and I were right at the end with a few other teachers, and he just stopped and had this dumb look on his face, and we looked up. Obviously, they were all scrambling, calling 911 for the man outside. Luckily, no one inside was hurt. And they took major precautions after that and never let kids sit there again until construction was finished. But he just looked at me with a stupid face after a long pause. And he said, I will never doubt you again. Whatever you say goes, we're moving the kids. I don't know what's with you. I don't know if it's good or bad, blessing or a curse, but I will never doubt you again. You call me anytime. <laughs> and uh, luckily it uh, was an okay situation. It almost wasn't an okay situation. But I couldn't account for why I had that dream or what made me think it. I don't know if it was just luck or what, but it, it made me nervous all day. So if you enjoy uh, content like that and you uh, would like to read some more things like that, I have very similar situations in the book, again, called Seven Dreams. It is up on Amazon, and uh, it is probably... Uh, pretty eclectic in the sense that each dream is different stuff. One's lottery based. Uh, one deals with the fire. Uh, one deals with the space shuttle, um, the crash in, in the 80s when I was a kid. Um, one deals with a good friend of mine that meets with a uh, an unfortunate uh, accident. And um, all of them were things I dreamt. None, in my opinion, were predictable. But all of them ended up being something that came to fruition that I didn't expect, good, bad, or ugly, in any way, uh, shape, or form. And then uh, probably the one that hits the closest to home was the one about my brother. So if you're interested in that and that sounded like something you'd like to, to read and you're uh, an old school book in hand kind of person, I do have print on demand or if you'd like to go the Kindle route, that's fine too. So it is up on Amazon. It's called Seven Dreams. And... Uh, Hopefully you'll take part in it. And if you've had a similar situation or something that you'd like to share in the comments, then let us know. And uh, we'd be happy to uh, tell some more about different things. And I have another book coming up soon called Ominous Tales that will be out shortly. So I hope I can uh, entice you with uh, all things spooky season. So really appreciate your tuning in and watching today. If you like this type of content, scare the like button into turning blue and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching.